All right, guys, we're hard at work today. Here's what's on the bench. Uh, this is a Fender Strat made in Japan. Uh, truss rod is down here in the heel. Uh, it looks like it's got some noises pickups and it's got a Seymour Duncan in the bridge. We're going to restring this thing. Let's pull the neck off of it. Let's look and see exactly what we've got here. Here we go. Okay. Pull the strings off of it. I can see we're missing our high E string already. I bought this guitar used. I had this thing for about a month or so now. And today's finally its day to get shined up. And get ready to see if we can put this thing out in the showroom up front. Figure out what to price it at. And then try to sell this thing. So I guess when I had string tension on there, I probably should have looked at the neck to see uh, how much relief was in there. Yeah, I might have to pull this back plate off of there. Did I get five? I did. All right. Got some worn out frets up here. Got a lot of uh, string um, dirt and dust and everything caused by the strings right there. Let's go ahead and set this on here and take a look at that it's got a little tiny bit of back bow so it's probably adjusted i would say in good it's good right now where it's adjusted let me pull my drill out and charge in the battery let's pull the neck off of this thing okay Let's pull the neck off. I'm gonna lay this guitar flat on its face for this. And with my drill. See, we're going to uh, take it apart and try to, try to make sure that it is what it says it is. A lot of times, Fender with Fender products, you can make part casters. You guys know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try my best to actually see if this is made in Japan. Well, you know, that's a good sign right there that you've got all this red paint all around there that's coming from the body. And it's actually, look at that. I'm getting red paint on me from this. And this is an old, old guitar. Oh, wait a minute. What is on the tip there? We've got some red paint on the tip. For some weird reason. Um, but again, then maybe this neck was installed on a body, but this seems like it's nice and dry. Yeah, kind of weird. Let's, um, let's lift the pick guard up and uh, let's take a look underneath here and see if anything else underneath here identifies as made in Japan so fingers crossed Now, a lot of times the Made in Japan stuff, because it's so humid in Japan that it's, you see a lot of rusty stuff. But this guitar, maybe it didn't spend that much time over there. And because it does have noises pickups and a Seymour Duncan, 
We definitely do not have our original parts in here. So I'm seeing that right off the bat. And so we might have, there's two different size screws right there holding the pick guard on. So we've got some sort of a parts guitar here. Which hurts its value. It's not a all original main Japan strat. It's a parts guitar. Well, let's see, one more screw and we can lift this top off of here. Take a look. Okay, so, um, I mean, we've got, it says all parts on the pick guard, but it looks like we've got some nice quality pickups in it. And we've got some nice pots on here, full size CTS pots. So, uh, there's no other markings in here that would just tell me that it's a made in Mexico body. It's hard to say. Maybe, you know, it's a thick body. So the chance of it being a uh, squire, uh, I mean, it's still possible. Our back plate is showing a back plate that could be a squire. Maybe this is a squire body because uh, these are off at an angle right here. So maybe we're looking at a squire body where somebody put an old Made in Japan neck on it because it happens. And and that's one of those things when you go into a vintage guitar shop, which I'm not, you have to be cautious of your if you're buying Fender stuff because it could be there's no telling if an old Fender guitar, an old strat, is actually the age that it says it is. Looks pretty clean underneath there. I don't know guys, could be just a uh, squire body with a bunch of uh, bunch of different parts. This is showing me on USA ones, these two screws that hold the back plate on, they're straight across from each other. And on a USA Strat, there's a, uh, like a hole right here about the size of a nickel. And the Made in Mexico ones have three holes right here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what this thing is. Some kind of a parts guitar. Is it a plywood body? Not sure. Not sure what this thing is, but uh, I'm going to clean it up and uh, test it all out. See if the pickups are working. Maybe put a nice set of knobs on here or maybe just put regular strat knobs on there. We'll see. Also, I do have some other random uh, loaded pick guards. But this is routed for single, single, single. So I wouldn't be able to do a humbucker or anything in this one. Not sure what I should do like right now. Maybe I'm going to look through my other pick guards. What do you guys think about the red with the tortoise skin? Is that a good look for you guys? Leave me some comments. Okay, so I've decided to work on the neck a little bit here. So I'm going to do a little level and crown. And I've got my straight edge on here. And I made sure that this is nice and flat. And now I'm just going to take...
gonna take my leveling beam. I'm gonna run it across here a couple of times. Okay. Probably should have taken the nut off of here. It gave me a little bit more distance to travel right there. But this seems like it's working really good so far. Then I got my Stumac fret file, narrow mediums. file. Okay, so I got the neck back on it, and I will say that the neck went back on and into the neck pocket really good. So I'm kind of up in the air as to uh, knowing for sure if this is a Squire body or not. I really honestly have no way of telling. It's some sort of a parts guitar. But you know what, you run into that a lot. So there's not much you can do about it. It's like, uh, it's kind of like buying a, uh, it's kind of like buying a Chevy and putting a carburetor off of a Ford on it, right? Okay. Got those tightened down good. So I think I, I took these knobs off of here I think I'm just going to find some fender knobs that are probably black and just see if I've got some black fender knobs and put on more of a traditional style knobs on there. Let's see what I got. Okay. Here we go now. Volume. Tone. and tone and that's possibly this is a volume right let's plug this thing in see if she's making any noise there we go it sounds like it's doing something voices pickups okay Uh-oh, we don't have the we don't have the bridge working. Okay. After so gonna get in here and see what's going on with this bridge pickup. That's okay. Let's pull the lid back off and see what's going on. Okay, I found it. Uh, ground cable came off. 
Let me plug my soldering iron in. And uh, I think I can get this one to work just by grounding this out. So. Choice. We'll put some strings on it. Today's string choice. Fender 9 through 42, pure nickel wound ball and original 150s. Fender strings. Everybody knows about them. Nobody buys them. Strange thing. Nobody comes in and says, hey man, I want Fender strings. You do have to be careful of, uh, there's fake Fender strings if you're on Wish or, you know, possibly you're on Timu. You do have to kind of uh, keep an eye out because there's fake Fender strings coming out of China. But I got these from my Fender dealer out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Fender headquarters, right? I think they're in Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay, so let's throw this first string in here. I thought about... Maybe uh, I looked through my parts and I was thinking, okay, I'm going to, maybe I can up, uh, upgrade this bridge, but I didn't really see anything. So I left this one in. I tried to shine it up a little bit. Tried to clean it. I cleaned the tuners. And I... Tightened up the tuners. And I found a whammy bar and I put a whammy bar in here. I put some of these fender strings on a Gibson the other day. And I was, I got shamed on YouTube. People are like, dude. Can't put fender strings on a Gibson. Maybe, maybe that's why people don't buy fender strings, unless they have a fender, right? All right, let's tune them up. Okay, guys. Next day, uh, the guitar's still here on my bench. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, let's uh, stretch the strings a little tiny bit and uh, tune it up. Got a fresh set of fender strings on it. Nine gauge. Let me just throw it up here on my knee. See how she listens. See how she sounds. Might have that truss rod a little too tight. Stress rod a little too tight. I don't want to pull the neck off of it again. But what I can do is I can raise the saddles just a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
just going to raise them just a little half a turn. There we go. The good thing is, is all these saddle screws uh, turn. So it's not too rusty. Gonna just lift that up a little tiny bit. Get that back over there where she belongs. Okay, now let's tune it one more time. All the tuners seem to work well. The neck looks beautiful, the wood right here, when you're looking down on it as I'm playing it. Alright guys, there it is. It's a player. Had to uh, solder a pickup back in it where the ground came off. We did some uh, level and crowning on it. It's got a new set of fender 9 gauge strings on it and it is for sale I'm gonna call it a parts caster with a made in Japan neck on it I don't know what the body is there isn't any markings or anything to be to honestly say hey this is honestly a Japanese guitar I don't know for sure it does not have fender saddles in here where it's stamped fender saddles so another thing I'm not sure about the, you know, the bridge, but it's got um, noises pickups and it's got a Seymour Duncan in there. Uh, it's kind of a cool guitar. It's down here. It's available. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody hit the thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Go buy a guitar. Mm -hmm.